I want it to be known. If I'm ever oversleeping and this song is just going on loop in the background, I must be dead. there I promise hold on you're gonna stop hearing this song in just a moment okay okay it's time to stop the song where are you there you are nope we're not actually gonna play that for 10 hours thanks if I did in fact play that for 10 hours actually no I can't enjoy that for 10 hours I've heard remixes of it for like 20 minutes and I've listened to those and yeah, those are still good. It's a great song, but you don't want to listen to it for that long. You start seeing things that aren't there. Like spiraling caverns and insanity. Louisa! How's Slime Rancher? Is it fun still? Y'all over there kicking some ass? Or are the Tars kicking yours? Yeah, it does. It does, in fact, turn to white noise after a bit. And I don't want to hate, hate my favorite fucking song, so yeah, I'm good. The girls took turns playing. <laughs> Aww. Well, did they enjoy it? Ooh, it jumped back down 20 degrees. Fucking hell. Turn off Tars and Ferals. Okay, good. My watch is like, hmm, you can still make it. I'm like, watch, you didn't keep track of a damn thing I did today. I'm sure I burned enough calories to equal out at least one fucking Big Mac. Am I getting a Big Mac? No, but... They were both raging, even in peaceful mode. Hmm. I guess they're not true gamers. My computer apparently wants an update. Windows 11 is ready for your PC. Oh, shit. It's time for Windows 11 update, guys. Time for the step into Windows 11. Unfortunately, I don't give a shit right now. I'll do it. Not right now, but I'll do it. I'll do it after this. They play Rival or Block, so definitely not. <gasps> Have they played Doors? I've got so much shit on Roblox to say, but I don't actually have anything bad to say about Roblox anymore. I've seen a lot of people play Roblox, or I've seen... There are people that I watch, not religiously, but every now and then, that just play Roblox, and I'm like, you know, that's fine. It's an acceptable thing. Everyone plays their own thing. The fact that this one person I watch every now and then plays Roblox a lot, especially with this kid, cool. You do what you want to do, honestly. Hold on one second. Okay. Gay. Yeah, and you don't want to run the gambit. Powder chicken. <laughs> it's true and I hate it. Yep. 30 minutes starting now. No, like literally I'm putting a 30 minute timer on my phone right now. Uh, I wish they could deliver food. They love doors. That's good. I think. I don't know. I haven't actually watched anyone play it. I really should at some point, but not today, I guess. That's not. That's not sectioned right. Hold on. Well, I'll put it over here. Click, clap. That looks a lot better. It does, in fact, deter. 
Wait a second. Is my TV doing the thing again? No, it's not. Oh, thank God. Yesterday when she was streaming, she had an issue where the TV wasn't actually making sound. And I was freaking the fuck out. Like, TV, please stop doing that. And I had to unplug it and plug it back in again. Like, we barely play any audio from you to begin with. Why are you just like, mm, audio, go bye-bye. <laughs> you need a new Slay the Spire. Yes. Or you should play Modest Slay the Spire. Because Modest Slay the Spire is the fucking... It's awesome as shit. Yes, continue from chapter one. Actually, let's be creepy. Is Cassie currently playing the game I think she's playing? Oh, no, she's not. I don't believe that. I know she's been playing the game today. So therefore, this is a lie. Okay, back to Card Castle. Continue. Oh, wait a second. Actually, I can do this. You have played modded? Have you played with good mods though? Have you played the downfall mod? The downfall mod is honestly one of the best mods for um, Slay the Spire. Hands down. Okay. So long as I can give you a list of shit to get from the store too, along with some money. Okay. I'm going to continue my statement. So long as I can give you a list of shit to get from the store to begin with. Sure. Okay. My plan was not to eat that fucking ramen tonight. It's the reason I keep trying to get other shit. Because I know for a fact other people are going to want to eat the fucking ramen. Yep. Sort of Alright, going to go beat the... Um, going to go actually beat the game this time. Okay. It is very late. This is Rousey's room. Not Rousey, um... Actually, I was gonna look something up. Forgot. It didn't rejoin? That's bizarre as shit, I'm sorry. Oh, you're on your phone, that's why. Never mind. Still sorry, but... Oh, yeah. Hey, Luis. You just checked a bunch of random options. Oh, let's see. I need a new play modded. No clue. Checked a random bunch of random options. I'll recommend you some some mods for Slay the Spire. I know a couple of good ones. They actually play really well. They don't just make, oh, hey, look, here goes OP characters. Some of them are, like, still very in-depth. Have I played Delta Room before? Chapter 1, yes. I played Chapter 1 for Delta Room. I have not played Chapter 2. And if we're keeping it the way I'm trying to keep it, no spoilers for chapter two, please. Had an issue last time with that. What is this fucker's name? This is... I was hoping that there would be something in this room that would... Because if you interact with these with these portraits, they do that. So I was hoping that there might be like a combination to them or something. But no, there isn't. I'm trying to see if there was anything online. <laughs> yeah, this is the end of this game. So, uh... I went the wrong way. I need to go up this way. You've missed rules card? Here, look at them. Deltarune has a very interesting scheme for like the enemies and also the bosses. And I love 
it like most of them are cards or card themed and so i love the fact that this guy's name is rules card never had an aversion of spoiler so it's fine i mean this is your last chance before i get to him the final boss of this chapter who is going to most surely get steamrolled because he's a little bitch I got, sorry, I gotta activate teleport beta. Hold on. We okay. <laughs> I don't care. Bring it. Enough worms. Oh, that's you. Enough worms. Thou may have cheated through the mind puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepare for battle with. Oh, fuck, that's right. Whatever this is! Huh? It's the enemy from earlier. But its crown looks different. It's the same. Yes, with my control crown, I may control any disc shaped life form. That's very specific. Oh no! It looks like it's in pain! It looks the same! Yes, the crown. <laughs> the control crown. The control crown is painful, but I am certain this creature will feel its relief when it sees how much more pain thou will be in. <sighs> I gotta take a second. Hold on. Susie has an idea. Uh, Susie, you want to act? Aw, what's your idea? Um, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie, I'll help. You want to apologize to it for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. Chris, we gotta get the crown off its head. Help me throw Rousey at it. <laughs> eh. Hold on. The crown loosened a little. The crown is 20% loose. Let's do it again. But well, this time, actually proper. There we go. Way goes. Anyway. Why, brilliant, just brilliant. I knew you couldst do it. Thou great heroes, thou. Thou seest that was merely a friendly test of thine abilities. But thou hast won, and nothing blocks thine path. I personally could not be less of an obstruction. But you, luck be with you, heroes. Heh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, if, I mean, if the plan works, would you really be displeased? Like, Cassie, like, think about it seriously. If, if Bastion walked up to Polly and Maggie and said, I'm going to throw both of you so you can both get a better angle to cast spells. Do you think that either of them would complain? I can guarantee you Maggie would. <laughs> Maggie would find that shit great. Oh, <laughs> there <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, this feels just like um Asgore's castle. Riches, they shine with avarice. Avarice is greed. But worse, riches, they shine with avarice. It's a throne. It seems to have been damaged in a struggle. The wall banners, they seem to have been kind of gone through a struggle. Scar? No? Oh, okay. <laughs> this just looks just like the end of Undertale. Avarice is a fucking fantastic word. Which is why, fun fact, <laughs> in DC, there's, you know, like there's a Lantern Corps in DC. There's a whole, like, there's like a whole list of them. But the one that's considered greed is not called greed. It's orange, and they call and they're called Avarice Lanterns. Hey, there's Lancer. Yes, they get more power by being greedy. Father! Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the Lightners as I commanded? No, but I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive? Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie. She's the purple strong one. And where are they now? Um... Right there. Hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. I yes, father? Oh god, they put a full animation in front of squatting and everything. Do you remember what I told you? D don't get too attached. Hold on, I'm gonna adjust my mic. I'm gonna actually mute so I can adjust my mic. Hold on. We are currently in prime gaming position, therefore the mic needs to be stretched out further. There's a burp stuck right here and I hate it. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They do not care for you. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, they aren't. What did you say? You put him dead. You let him fucking go now. <laughs> you want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Light Nurse? D don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... He'll... I appreciate the fact that everyone knelt regardless. Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you're when you befriend Lightners. Aw, Lancer's such a good boy. What the? You you traitor! Come back here! All right, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you, I'm the bad guy. There's this YouTube series that's called like so and so corruptions. Uh they've done Delta Room corruption, so like it'll like mix up the words sometimes, or in some cases they're full on mods that like change the actual dialogue. What they did with this was I think they made all of Susie's actual sprites in the bottom look like Barney. And they made the king look like a Robotnik. This is a silly little thing. I hate you. You're more terrifying than Calculetto. Which isn't saying much, but hey. I also tried to reason with the king. You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. Shame you will not live to realize your na naivety. How? Now perish with the pathetic lightners you worship. Sorry, my friends, and I aren't going anywhere. Gauss's will is changing. Talk became dual heal. Ooh. How dare you come here, light nurse. I'm glad you're attacking Susie, the person I actually defended with. This means more TP for me. The king's mouth mouths babbling indecipherably. 
Ugh, he makes you think of that thing from Critical Role. Hmm. So you tried to reason with the king. All right, listen up. My answer's my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then if I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. <laughs> All right, do you want to see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Top became Red Buster. You, you that left us in shadows, stripped of meaning. All right, this fucking bit. Ow, pain. I thought that was really fucking neat when it first happened. Yeah, that's gonna do damage. I don't want to do damage, though. So. Most of this fight, unfortunately, is gonna be a lot of defending. Try to reason with the king. Silence, Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against our own. By the knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Top became courage. You dare return to torment us again? Yes. Sure. You encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Be gone. We have found fresh purpose. Hamana, fuck this move. Samana, flamana. A flamana, hamana. I can't do. You encourage the party. Party's defense raised for this turn. For the knight has appeared. Ow. Oh no, the, the darkness. The night that pulls from the fountains of, from the earth. Oh shit. Hamna hamna. Samana flamana. None of that. Thanks. Have a nice day. Thanks. Oh, dual healer just heals everyone. That's cool as shit. Holy Fountain Two Shadows are creating a new world. Our world. Oh, no thanks. No thanks. No thanks. Do you see now our new purpose? I'm just gonna let you sit and talk for a while, my friend. Because I would love to beat the shit out of you, but unfortunately that's not considered a good run. So was that a tongue? Uh, Coming from his face? Yes. Coming from his stomach? I don't know. Is he attacking with his tongue with like a licky licky? Yes, possibly. Like a gibbering mouther? Yes, actually. That's exactly what I think of when I see this man. Or partially enough. Soon this world will be blanketed in darkness. And darkness shall rule it. Oh no. The damage. I'm scared. So anyway. Uh, we're going to encourage. We're going to block. And we're going to heal Susie. Then you may see what it's like to live in despair. Wee! I don't want to go on the fun ride, Mr. Mr. Man. Now, enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. Eh, uh, not my favorite justice-based... Oh, shit. That's right. You're a dirty fighter. You're weird. Uh. Okay, we're good. Give a berserk smile. Ew. Huh. You're quite strong, aren't you? Nah, just pretty good at defending. You're pretty bad at attacking, though, my guy. You really learn from someone else. If I keep fighting you like this, then... Then what? You're gonna want to be my friend. You wanna gonna have a tea party and, like, and, like, and, like, and, like, and, like, have a sleepover? It seems that. Hmm. 
my knight. I shall not fail you. You okay? It is? No, my timer hasn't gone off yet. Nine minutes. Enough is enough. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. I've grown exhausted from our long battle. Cape just flutters off like a butterfly. Light nurse, I... Perhaps I... I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There was once a time where darkness and lightners lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps... Perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be peaceful solutions to all this. Susie's like... Mm. Come on, Susie. Fine. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries. I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Y yes. Friends. That sounds lovely. <laughs> My apologies. I am... I'm not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. There. You should be all healed up. Now, how do you feel? Let's see. Never better. You. Did I say you can get up? Did I say you could attack her? Ouch. Oh, spare me the heroics. This is why we picked Genocide. He's gonna kill me now, because I didn't kill him first. That's not true. But, uh... No. You. You're the leader, aren't you? So what's your plan? To laugh at... To laugh... To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say. Hmm. Young one. Let me tell you a secret. Yeah. Quiet people piss me off. Hey, look, you can see your eyes. Hey, get away from my... Aww, she called us a friend. <laughs> or what? You kill me? Nah. So what's your plan, then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightener. You honestly think you have any way? To convince me not to kill you? Nah. But they might. I love the giant crooked smile on Susie's face. Also, hey look, it's everyone. L Lancer, everyone. What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad. You're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me. Now I'm the dad. You idiots. The Lightners are your enemies. Fools, I'll kill you. I'll kill all of you. Yikes. I think someone needs a timeout. So, if you decide to do a fighting route, when you actually got up there with Rousey, um, Rousey would in fact heal, the king would attack, and instead Rousey would use his sleep spell and put, them, put him to sleep. And when you got to this point... These people wouldn't come to save you. The king would just be sitting there asleep on his knees. Actually asleep. Pacified still. Because Rousey still doesn't believe in killing. Or, you know, fighting. Lancer would come up and tell you that you should probably leave because everyone's at the door trying to burst through to get you. Or rather, they don't like him, but they don't like you also. So... Yikes, I think someone needs a timeout. Go to your room, dad. No! You all right, Chris? No, I'm in pain. Chris, Susie. Oh, you're all right. Yep, it'll take more than that to take us down. Thankfully. 
Chris, Susie, I'm so sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... We almost... Susie, you were right. I... I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Eh, it's complicated. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then... You might just hurt someone you care about. Oh, Susie. You're beginning to sound a lot like a real hero. Yeah, don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... Left, middle, or right? Left? Yeah, that's Chris. No, I like Chris. Say so you like Chris? Mm -hmm. That's so bad. Hey, that's Susie and that's Ralsei. Hey, that background actually comes with the game. In Undertale, they actually had the background changing based on like which area you were in. So when you were in Snowden, like they had it was like snowy with like trees. When you were in hot lands, it like was like lava. Like some of the ones from Undertale better. This one didn't change at all. But still. I guess that's right, huh? Well, um, uh, see ya. Huh. Chris, you wanna go say goodbye to everyone, don't you? Well, if you're gonna make me, I guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go. I'll go ask her. Chris, Susie, you came back? Um, well, Chris just wants to say bye, you know? Oh, actually, everyone here wants to say goodbye, too. Please let me know when you leave, all right? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. So, I have to go get food, so I'll be right back. Leave you guys with this music in the background, though.
Hello. I'm back with food. Hi. Get scared, nerd. They're working on steaks. I do my steak in a weird way. Um, are you going to do Drew's? You're like yours? Just kind of like brine and let it just sit out in the open air? Um, she dry ages hers more. I kind of let mine sit more or less in a marinade. But like olive oil all over the steak. And I do a bunch of seasonings on top of that. So that way for like kind of stick in. But I plan on like in the morning. Um, pulling mine out to let it kind of sink into the skin a bit more. In the morning, just for note, I plan on actually like unwrapping mine and letting it just sit out in the air open air. But if Dre plans on doing it like mine, the suggestion was going to be to add olive oil to it first. So it actually sticks to it. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, um, do olive oil first, and then do seasons all over it. But it's fine, regardless. So, tasty. Maybe a cup of ramen after, because Fox made me crave. Yeah. I don't like ramen anymore. Sad. I'm very, very sad. Not really. I went to the CA. I got wings and cheesy bacon fries. Also, something I like about this game that Undertale didn't do, Undertale let you go all the way back, but that was a good thing to do because it gave you the top. The chance to go re-meet everyone and go talk to literally everyone see how they progressed. But here, They've cramped everyone up into the castle. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. I'll be honest, first we weren't sure to make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. Yeah. I've had for new kings. He already mandated a 400% increase in salsa reduction. Jesus Christ, Lancer. Mamma Miba celebration! This calls for a cake. And this time I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it. S Susie, blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going to I you going home ways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, really? Oh, that's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh? I mean, I did not want to say. Um, so, you're the king now, huh? Yes. And I'm changing some big rules. First, lighteners are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was, uh, protecting the fountain. All back in the fridge? Yep. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah. 
and he thought, and he had music. So, a kind of played with music. Yeah. Which makes it very, very happy. <laughs> I'm sure she was freaking freaking out. Like that. <laughs> Except probably more, a lot more barking. Coming back out to season. Um, you're welcome. The fuck did you get all this from? Oh, neat. I mean, when have you ever told me, do you want gummies? And I've actually gone, no. Is it going to be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea, but it's you guys, so I can trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, guess we'll just see, I guess. And we'll see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. You should tell your prince I say goodbye as well. Is he leaving? No, he's just a sweet little peach. Aww. Us animals decided it was okay if the king stays in cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. What ho? How about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Ah, my treasure is unharmed? Oh, carry on then. No, oh, he's only gonna talk to you. Never mind. Whatever. What's going on? I slept through everything. Hathi looks at you proudly. Kiss. Limit one. The future looks sweet, like a pile of bees puke, which is funny, I think. A kingdom with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next birthday, too. We'll have one soon, if that's possible. Okay, same thanks. Hey. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I dislike my job. Okay. Wonderful work, my name. Ah, my gosse. Thou hast toppled us the tyrant, freedest our creedest. Ty truly, if history shall not forget the tale of rules card and the three heroes. What about the part where you tried to kill us? Ah, an interesting historical theory, is it not? Nonetheless, the evidence precludeth such a thing. What evidence? I shall giveth thou a pail of worms for silence. Deal. Damn it, Susie. <laughs> you want food? Damn it, you know how to speak my love language. <laughs> you did it. You ousted that rotten tyrant. I'll happily accept a bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case I did nothing. Darn, you've done it. You've done us a big help. Now all of those pieces can live in pieces. Okay. Boy, my nostrils can't thank you enough. That feels uncomfortable. But great Bork, you're absolutely amazing. Honestly, we owe you. Best, you're the best. You get the joke here? Huh? Get the joke? joke. What's the joke? This. Yeah. Cause that one does B's and that one does O's. Ha ha, ha ha, I told you fucked you fucking child, I love you. Thank you, I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked Sham to come here, but there wasn't any interest. Even a little ball can say something like, thank you. Okay, they didn't change either. All right. Way to go, kid. Now we can go back to making those puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, I can even buy a new hat and some shaving cream. Got nothing left to teach now. Life's got no tutorial, so try your best. I hate your fucking face. I thought even an insult. It's just concerning. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Oh, fine now. I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Walk to the right now. Bye. Susie, Chris, you're going to leave? 
What's funny is, by the way, if you try to go up and leave, Susie says we should probably go back and say bye to everyone. But, like, and then that triggers you coming back here and Rousey doing this scene because you can't skip over this scene happening. Um, I, I just wanted to say I, I, I really enjoyed meeting you two. And hey, can you stop mumbling into your head for a sec? Can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. He's adorable. Um, Chris, Susie, I. I thought it was canonical. Uh, Ross and this girl. No. I swear to God, I read that somewhere. Rousey very legitimately goes by Prince. What? Does that mean anything? Because I thought it was supposed to be a juxtaposition of like, oh, we thought you were a prince all princess, prince all along, but you're actually a girl. I hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, all right? Oh, um, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. The world may never know. Hey, Chris, I know you want to stay, but we got to go. Yeah, fine. From what I know, Rousey is a guy. Is this the fountain? I don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about it. About that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. This is the exact same sound effect that happened when Azrael broke the barrier and the pacifist roof. Except it's actually proper for this. But what happened? I can't see anything. Hey, watch it! Uh, the unused classroom? How did we get it here? Hey, uh, Chris, what? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Hmm. Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Alfie's we couldn't find any chalk. Let's play the fun game of... Let's play I Spy. I like I Spy. Hmm, let's see here. Uh, wait, hold on. If I'm right, my mouse shows up on screen. Does, does my mouse show up? It does. Perfect. So if we look here, we'll see a checkerboard. Rather relevant to the fact that we had a checkerboard full of nothing but pawns to fight for a while. And over here are all the playing cards. Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. It's a yellow, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed, Alvin. Hey, hey, Kirsten. It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. It's a light switch. Bigger chalkboard and then a smaller chalkboard. There's a narrow pathway. It's a worn down stuffed animal. If you look at it, it's actually kind of laid out exactly how it happened just a minute ago. Oh, also this. No, not that. I have a Halloween pencil now. You know I have a Halloween pencil? Because I got rid of my original carbon, carbon-based pencil, and I spec picked up a spooky sword. You start off with a, you start off in this game with a pencil. When you drop down into the into the dark world, you get a carbon-based sword. If you change that to the spooky sword, it gives you plus spook. 
no joke. And then when you come back here, it's called Halloween pencil. So it's like the whole thing here is supposed to be ridiculous, kind of like the whole game of make-believe. Yep. This is the most elaborate game of D&D &D ever. Is the what we're going with at the moment. Because again, I've got no context for chapter two. I liked that theory when it first happened, and then MatPat said the same thing. I was like, oh, I feel justified as shit. Because that's supposed to be Shaum. Yeah, no, I figured. I love Shaum. Yeah. Shaum, you love Shaum, and Shaum loves when you visit his little shop. <laughs> The door is locked. And if you go out here... Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Salfies will know better than to ask us next time, huh? I mean, yeah. Hmm. Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? The door is locked. The door is locked. We went this way. Through this door, basically. You ran the water fountain. It's lukewarm. Do you like breathing, moving fast, with or without legs? But usually with legs? Join the cross country team with Jockington and Noel. Locker, it's locked. Locker, it's locked. Locker, it's locked. Locker, it's locked. Try that again. This used to be your brother's locker. Oh. Miss Toriel is written on cursive and dry erase board. Seems it hasn't been erased in a very long time. That's gonna stain. Or stick. It's a poster of several basic shapes. Circle, over, square. Hyperdodecahedron. Kids books. Some of them used to be yours. It's a primitive drawing of your mom. Apple. Some kind of teacher food. What's on a computer? It's a computer. A desktop wallpaper as you and your brother dressed up for ha Halloween eight years ago. The Throne of the Gods. Fair. I can only say fair because I've always thought about like putting like a stack of chairs and sitting on the very top of it. But I also know that that equilibrium would be awful on fall. Oh, yeah. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? So the, anyway, this is your mom's room. Because she does the kindergarten. Or she does the younger kids thing. Oh, we already did those four. Oh, there's lockers over here too. Oh, I can't interact with those. Never mind. Oh. The computer is turned off. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. Oh. It's a bunch of roses. Those weren't there before. Try your best, Astro Wolf, even in your darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. It seems to be not time for class. I was not facing downwards, I'm facing upwards, but whatever. I pressed B, not A. But yeah, as you can see, there's flowers over there now. They weren't there before. C Chris? What have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You let your poor mother word sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Basically said, uh, have fun being out and about for a bit. 
This is basically your chance to do everything you didn't get to do at the very start of the game. Because the game railroaded you immediately into town. Chris, you survived Susie? I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere 6423. Consider it, Chris. Chris, what's up? Katie's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Good job, dude. Good job. There's an anime review. Read it. <laughs> I love the no, 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 And then, yes. Teens Corner. Monthly review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. Oh, shit, it's Alphysies. This reviewer has had... Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series, and let her tell you, it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. With a darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that will die if he goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention Mew Mew's character in the first one. It's more stale than a ramen I ate at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older should look at the Alpha's dark masterpiece. Signed, The Anonymous Yellow Lizard. This is a contrast to Undertale. Because we got a full fucking post about the fact that she was pissed off about the fact that people actually thought that two was better than one. Good. Gotta go to Kolig so Tim Stubby odd. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. Fair enough. You can say I'm having a ball. <laughs> Ooh. The front is perhaps a mauve dragon wearing a lipstick. As for her clothes, I believe they are, well, you know, Chris, I think you'll know when you see it. Sure. There's a book here. You look the page. It's delicious. This must be what they meant by flavor text. It's an unable book. You look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're putting it inside the catalog. Oh, no. I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. That sounds like something from Blookie. Lord of the Hammer, first in the award-winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boom. Did not forget about that one. Please remember my name. Please, I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot's Fire Guy. What was his name before? Heat's Flamesman. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. I'd love to, but you're kind of in the way, friend. Fine. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Okay, fine, Toby. Is there another one here? No, okay. I still love library B. This is nice. All right, so pick a direction. Which way are we going? Up, down, left, right? Or up, down, left? Okay. Well, besides Undyne. We're going to talk to Undyne. There is no option here. Okay. Whoops. Shit. <laughs> yes. What happens is you run into her. You say hi. You say, oh my goodness. Let's talk about Alfie's. Alfie's? Who's Alfie's? No idea what you're talking about. Why? Did, what if they do something illegal? Gotcha. If I see Alfie's, I'll tackle them. <laughs> They're as good as dead. Got something to report? What? There's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. Help you. Aw, you want to help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. And this is the kid, this is the guy that bought the spider donut before. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I, I guess I should just run away. And this is the the guy that was in the snail races. Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be just directing traffic, but all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, get out of my way. She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. Aw, not looking for hot guys. 
It's an obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it. Plink. Plink. It's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. I agree. The beads march grimly along their set path. They only ever spawn in hospitals. You never, or doctor's offices, you never see them anywhere else. That's still a doctor's office. A dentist is a doctor. Fun. In that regard, you're thinking like that. I've also seen them in an eye doctor office. <laughs> That's why I had to correct what I said from hospitals to doctor's office. It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines in a circle. Fair. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play with the piano again? Patients can't hear well from here, but I personally enjoy it. Nah. Left or right? Left. Dad, oh! <laughs> Dad, I just can't. Mm -hmm. Dad, I just can't. I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I die. Like, I literally die. No, well, sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother. I walked right up to her and told her she was a hot piece of work. R really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... Kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. No, oh well. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here, I'm bored as hell. <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go, I've got homework. Oh, that's the grown, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again, what's his name, Nerdly? It's, uh, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. <clears throat> how do I say this? How do I say this gently? Ah, yes. Calm down, Saya. <laughs> What's her dad's name again? Zaxarian. Zaxarian. Calm down, Zaxi. <laughs> Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Oh, bye. It's a chair. It's a well soon card from your mom. It's signed inside. Hey, Chris, you know you signed the inside, right? Why are you staring at it like you haven't seen it before? It's your penmanship. That good? Was I not moved enough? Oh, so you're just here to use the sink, huh? Come on, Chris. Be a little friendlier. Fine. No. Patient named Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris. You forget my name or something? It's funny how the game is like very just very specifically calling you out for things. Like very directly calling you out. <laughs> oh, you're here to do that thing that you always do. That's fine. But it's you know it's you in a familiar place. But it's weirder when it's like you're answering things you definitely shouldn't be answering. Like, bringing up Alfie's to Undyne. What does she care? Undyne's a cop here. Alfie's is a school teacher. Why do the two of them really know each other? Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. Alright, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. Wasn't too long ago you were just a creepy kid next door. Now you have the creepy kid right in front of me. I was hoping he'd do the laugh again. Okay, okay, seriously, you want to chat or something? Talk about Noel. He's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares Santa Claus, Jesus fucking Christ. 
<laughs> Everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed? Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. <laughs> I'm thinking of Azzy scaring Sai about popping out from underneath the bed. <laughs> just, just like underneath, just like shakes the bed violently like this. And he just pops out from underneath the foot of it, like, ah! Full height and everything. He probably almost hit his head on the ceiling. Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. I was going on with me, just that in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? What the hell are you here for, Chris? To gawk? You thought this was just the zoo or something? Come on. Don't worry, there's no way you can bore me right now. Okay. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh, hey, now that Asgore's off to college, you think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, woo! She'd always fuss about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with the key lime pie, <laughs> I got smashed into the sma snack table and toppled everything. That makes me wonder if in this world she instead did key lime pie instead of butterscotch. That's a good point. We didn't even think about that. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. So, why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. Then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display? Sounds about right. All right, I'm gonna leave now, bye. Nope. <laughs> you looked inside the cupboard. <laughs> a very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. It's a regular sink. This is a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was an originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create both of them. If only we knew something about it, an extremely tall sink to be cut in half to make two separate sinks. I'm talking about the one in Sansa's house. Uh, I thought you were making a joke about my mom's sink. Yeah. Which is finally in... Oh, it is? Oh, cool. We finally got this one. One is actually put together, the one that's still whole. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cassie said, I remember this is always here, just don't remember that it was different. I, yeah, no, I know. That's why I'm going through it after just playing Undertale. It's still fresh, which means I can just poke and prod. It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale, using Icy as a model. That's right, this is Icy. At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. The castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. Okay, bye! All right, more left. Police! You knock on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just close the blinds. Seems like the police aren't really feeling it right now. Funny, look at that, look, look at that right there. That look familiar? Yeah, who had one of those? Huh? 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 Uh huh? 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 You know who had one of these? Undyne. It was in front of her house. That's a lot of police tape. Police tape is blocking the way. Tape simply reads, Nyah! I didn't get to see all this tape or Undertale. Yeah, no, in front of in front of Undyne's house, she has a um, doormat that's just a fish, fish bones. Okay, up or down? Uh. Cassie, pick up or down. By the way, combustion wings are spicy. There is less sauce to them because they're really spicy. Cassie said, go up. Okay. You're standing outside the church. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here and on school day. Oh, she's a turtle. There's... Must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you, if you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. F 
fruit juice. <laughs> Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you could sing with us. Or even participate in it to any extent. Instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. I mean, give me a better reason to go, nerd. <gasps> That's politics. I don't know who the fuck that guy is, though. <laughs> the mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard as a good, good track record. But she runs unopposed. That's politics. Rarely. Not only does she act icy, she always keeps her office AC at full blast. The chill I feel is... Is that what politics feels like? Hey, you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. Okay, I'll kill everyone. Hey, short stuff. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. What? Don't talk to you like you're a kid? Fine. If you need someone to change your diaper, go ask the cops. Can I get past you and look at the picture? Oh. It's a painting of the town. Nice. It's a small palm tree. A pine tree chair? It's a chair. Maybe it maybe it's in politics. I believe it. It should run it. It should run at some point. Uh, more branching paths. This is the graveyard, doesn't it? It's a lot of running. Oh, this is that area. Nope. Goodbye. I know what that is, Cassie. Yes. I know you don't know what it is, do you? Okay. But this is an important place to be. Can you here? Yep, it's right here. The Hammer of Dawn. Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. This is probably one of the doggos. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shiron? Shiro, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. I don't know who the fuck this is. Snowy? Got any guesses? Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Yeah. Gerson and Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here. If anyone asks, you're right. Feels like a Howard thing to say. Oh, there's the Delta Rune up there. Nice. I'll be back for that. It's also up there, too. Yeah. I hate it. God, there's so much to go through. Snowy. Oh, you're lucky, Chris. You just miss. You got to miss class at Alfie's. It's not fair. Haha. <laughs> if I skip class, my dad would never let me hear the end of it. Haha. <laughs> That actually is not even remotely funny. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie, ha! Huh? I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time, Snowy and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then when the ball rolled over to her, she just uh, froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could, right into the officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Ha <laughs> ha. Sounds like a sorrow thing to do, huh? He's like, fuck, you didn't have to call me out for that. <laughs> <sighs> Oi, Snowy, what did I tell you about knocking on the door so hard? Oh, hard. Don't, don't, it. It's really gonna hurt your face when we don't have arms, you know? Goodbye. Huh? That sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Fine. Nerd. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of the town? Ah, oh, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> That's a sentence I didn't really... There's a rabbit up there. This is the rabbit house. Fuck. Interesting. That's creepy. Uh, oh, uh, Chris, you're okay. 
I, I was really worried about you when you didn't come back. Where'd you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know? You're not in trouble. Hmm. Well, let me know if you need anything. It's a dirty trash can. It's a dirty trash can. It's a trash can full of well-cut flowers. It's a saucer of milk. Yo. Uh, oh, Chris. D did you want to talk about something? Let's talk about chalk. C Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So in return, I can let you borrow um my homemade DVD collection of the... The Simptons, not the Simpsons. The Simptons. You know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family. It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. Make sure you don't watch past the second season since they just rebooted as Simpsons Turbo. They started driving their own motor vehicles and fighting giant giga demons and stuff. The main problem with the show that it's kind of lost the focus on family. They had earlier when those vehicles are shaped like animals and they were friends with the animal vehicles. And let's not get into the sense of galaxies for us. Well, the Simpsons discovered another Earth on the other side of the sun. But the gravitational field just, huh? You don't want to watch it. That's okay, Chris. It's hard to keep up with that. That text is moving fast. It is hard to keep up with. <laughs> Your room smells like acetone. Your room smells like acetone. Yeah, that explains that. And it's on the carpet. You don't have acetone? I, I mean, you don't just have acetone sitting right on top of your desk? I mean, I don't either, but, like... Oh, God. That's... Okay, fair enough. I guess that is, in fact, an extension of your desk. Whatever. Whatever. So was that. And that. Sometimes that, too. I think it's funny that I moved it to Friday so that way Drew wouldn't miss it. <laughs> In case Saturday became a thing. And Drew's like, no, I want the whole weekend. I'm going to be somewhere else. It's fine. Pizza left over in there. Sure. I'd offer you some extremely spicy wings, but I'm afraid they'd fucking destroy your throat. Spicy wings? That I've only had like. I haven't even had one yet. I've had like half of one. Well, over here, yes. Oh, that's well over in the fridge. Oh, that's well over in the fridge. It's to mix. It's to mix the sauces, so therefore they can be um equally sweet as they are hot. Therefore, there's more of an allure. I've only eaten half of one, so I don't really have an answer for you. Yes. I've Oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. He always asks how you're doing in school. He gives me a bouquet of them. <laughs> Actually, that... He always gives me flowers. It really makes me wonder if he, uh, likes... If he likes the awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and can kick my ass. <laughs> Chris... 
this just leans back into the other stereotype from before where it's like hmm yeah that is your hair okay the single strand that's just like partially green sitting over your face made me think you were the tv and i was like am i am, am, am i in the liminal space am I, I was like am i slipping into the liminal spaces again let's hope not which reminds me cal sent me a back rooms video earlier today i was like I don't, it was literally, would you, would you ride the slide into the back rooms? I'm like, no. I have only read the title of this and I'm saying, no. <laughs> I would not. I would, the back rooms would fuck me up. And I gave him a small explanation. He was like, oh. No. <laughs> Guess the things I say about you. Ah. Uh, yeah, I could. Saucer. Oh, the saucer of milk. Stop smiling over there. I will throw a spicy wing at you. Here. Oh, the saucer. Yeah, but it's dry, so it wouldn't um, leave a residue anywhere. Oh, the saucer of milk. It, it's for my kitty, Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. Uh, what does she look like? Well, I've never actually s seen her, but... Ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So, so I like to think there's a cat. My cat. Okay, bye. <laughs> I think the answer is that there's not actually a cat back here. There's like something else that just keeps coming through and licking up the milk because she keeps leaving it there. Knock or knock. No response. But the distant trussle of bones. Get it? Trussle of bones. There you go. Who the fuck is this guy? I don't know, it looks like something you can Make sure my stats are good, hold on. Ball of junk, a small ball of accumulated things. Smells like scratch and sniff marshmallow stickers. You looked at the ball, junk ball in admiration, nothing happened. You looked at the junk ball in admiration, nothing happened. You really didn't want to throw it away. Throw it away anyway? No. You felt a feeling of relief. Listen, we don't judge people poking like a monkey. Cal sent me a photo of a giant stuffed spider, like a bed-sized spider. I told him you would behead me. I just imagined Susie slurping the milk up like an animal. Isn't that a book? The ball of junk? No, it's not. It's basically everything you accumulated in the last chapter. Just like balled up together. Just everything in total. I threw out the book. It turned into papers. A little bit sticking out is kind of weird. Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? How are you? Let's. <laughs> I have to ask this. Cassie, do you know what happens if you say great to see you again as opposed to who the hell are you? I know, right? I know, I'm sorry. Okay, so you do know, good. Okay. If you say great to see you again, he says, huh, that's weird because I've never met you before. But and then. He greets you like, hey, kiddo. Yeah, great to see you walking around. Yeah. Yeah. Who the hell are you? Hmm, you know, good question. I'm Sans, your friendly neighborhood skeleton. What's up? Store. Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain, I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. What's up? We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why, got someone I should know better? <laughs> you should know my mom better. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. She's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate and kisses. Said she's got a locker door to stop you from eating them. 
You sound like a fun kid, huh? Alfie's. Yeah, I know about her. Came to the store with a suitcase and the sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills. Then slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is uh, purely business. So I uh, guess I'll just let her do her thing. Get to know me better. Whoa there, tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. Takes time. All right, that's long. That's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like. Guess hands his number. Hello. You have reached the hotline for idiot babies. Please press one for idiots, two for babies, three for idiot babies, and four for none. Ah, uh, you're an idiot. To tell you the truth, I am the I am one too. Let's try our best, okay? What's up? Harsh, but fair. Oh, you got something better to do? Me too. Anyway, I'll be standing here doing nothing. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Sure. Wow, you were really deliberating for a while. Gee, what's wrong? Don't want to hang out with a stranger? Oh, guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are, where are we going to be going? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just going to be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See you. You. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. QC's diner. Huh. Well, see, Caddy is over here working. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Uh, we'll take the special, and do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Oh, they're dragons. That's kind of cute. That's a tall hat for you, sir. Sir, your hat is like a little bit very tall. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secret I hold. My secret is, I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. There. So, for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, the cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood. That sounds about right. I like the vibe of the waitress here. Maybe I should sign up, too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. I got nervous, I just melt all the ice. Get it? Ha, ha, ha. Anyway. Dude, remember when we used to skip the first hour of class to come here? You were fine, but I almost had to repeat the year because of, of it. Those crepes are mad worth, though. Delinquency is the best condiment. Ice Wolf does not like ice in drink. Ice Wolf likes ice. To be drink. The shirt is, um, the creepy thing I can't think of right now. Icy. Hey there, I haven't seen you in a while. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happen and, well, y'all yeah, stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate, and you two'd sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes on the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? You got the hot chocolate. On the house, hon. A chocolate topped with homemade marshmallows in the shape of bunnies. Ice me up, ice me up, boss. No. Ice ease p e z. You're not one spot. Your number one spot for piping hot. For a piping hot p e z of p e z. Uh huh. Would you be interested in trying some of our twenty-four mini pizza flavors? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy. 
double ice pe peep peperonis and more stop on down at ic's pizza oh god someone actually here uh ic's pizza your number one spot for a piping hot piece of pizza hey wait a second is he sound he looking familiar he sound familiar uh-huh Come on, you got this. Mm hmm. Come on, Bernie, you got this. Cat. Sorry, Sammy, but there are quite a few cats in this game. Oh my God, where does he work? <laughs> where does he work? Tell me. No, he works here at Ice's Pizza. It's Pizza Pants. Yes. There you go. The only name that kept coming to mind was Scott, and that's because of Scott. Yeah. Wait a minute. I recognize you. Um. Little oh, buddy, it's me. I want to chat for a minute before I lose my mind. Sure. No. It's fine, little buddy. You don't have to watch me suffer. Just enjoy your freedom while it lasts. Okay. I'll talk to you. Talk about your job. Make no mistake, little buddy. Icy's Pizza is hell. I hate his fucking icons in this game. They're so much more creepy. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing. Be a team player. Th be a neat team player. There's no I in pizza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up. To go to college where Ozzy is. <laughs> then I'll get a theater degree. I'll become a famous actor. And let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. Ah, yes, little buddy. Good idea. Meet the rogues gallery. Blue ear, soft serve obsessed, no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushes on me and giggling. The warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza-related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers of war chants. Purple guy. Man, that guy, you gotta... Actually, does that guy even work here? Well, that fucking FNAF reference? Kind of. He was running down the list of people that worked here, and he said the purple guy. He said, "Wait a second, does he actually work here?" Ah, my coworkers. Where, where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier little place. Yeah. Hopefully, it's good. Probably a little I said it is a pizza place. Freddy Fazbear's is in fact a pizzeria, so. I mean, I sent you a post on Twitter. She's like, you've sent me a lot of posts. This doesn't help me. In the world of, um, wow, oh, there's a Twitter that I follow that's just like the fucking wild as hell things that have to do with the Undertale fandom outside of Undertale. One of the things was, I think it was the head leader of Coheed and Cambria. Posted his Instagram a picture of uh, Chris and Rousey. No, 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 it was Goofy with Mike. I can't. Yes. I saw it. Okay. And I responded. When? Oh. Like right after you sent it. Oh. Or I wouldn't be shocked if it is because we've been going to kind of like. See, she was at home. I was at work. I didn't know these things. <laughs> The bunny has a crush on him. No shit. You wanna know when Azzy's coming home? Or do you know when Azzy's coming home? You can't tell them this, but I, I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times. Picking up, for example, chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. But one time, Undyne made eye contact with me while she was writing me a speeding ticket. Alright. Can I tell you a mascot secret? I started working here because the logo made me think it was an ice cream shop. But I ended up really loving my job and my coworkers too. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm aware. Ice me up, ice me up, boss. You concern me a lot, Mr. Purple Dinosaur. Barney is it? Nope, fuck off. What's on the right? Oh yeah.
Go way over here. The fuck is way over here? The fuck is way over here? Oh. And you forgot this part when you played through it? No, I never actually went this way. Hey, RGO1 and RGO2. Nothing better than hanging at the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. True. It's a metal picnic table. Cigarette butts lay on the ground beneath it. Stick your fingers into the holes on the table. Yeah. Your fingers don't fit through the top anymore. You try to from below. Your hand become covered in cobwebs. I thought you'd have to just stand here. There we go. <laughs> hey there. Noticed you were here. It's me. You know me, right? Of course you do. I'm real popular. I just don't have any friends. But it's okay. You here? Because you're here. Will you be my friend? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy. I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't remember being this happy before. What's your name, friend? Hippopotamus. Yeah, I don't remember this. Chris, no, I never did this. Chris, that's you. That's a real nice name for a friend. Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. Actually, since no one talks to me, I forgot my own name. Chris, can you give me a name? Azrael the second. Beauty. Disgusting. Ooh. Hmm, it's perfect, you hear? I don't know what it means, but it's perfect. Ah, it feels like it shaped me. It feels like it's, it smells like me. Wait, what's the name? Uh, um, yum. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, yum. That's my name. Thanks for giving me a name. I'll cherish it. C Christmas? That's your name, right? I tell you, I want to tell you something tomorrow. Something I can only tell a friend. That's creepy as hell. Come back soon, you hear? Tomorrow. That was creepy as shit. Alright, coming back. I'm curious to know, Cassie, did you know about Onion Sand in this game? Cassie's like, nope! <laughs> I think Cassie might have shit her pants on accident. Also, if your cat isn't in that window in there, I think he's in Dre's room, and when in Dre's room, Andre was in the bathroom. It's your dad's truck. The floor, the floor on the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Man, our dad is so fucking cool. I'm gonna be completely honest, as for as cool as hell in this one. Dum de dum. Oh, there's someone there. This moment. Super satisfying. Have I have almost finished watering these flowers. I'm pretty okay. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Oh, Chris. Hug. Oh, I'm sorry. I see fucked up saying dad and said, da. 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 <laughs> I forgot if you don't like da. hugs like that. Oh my God. Well, now make yourself at home, Chris. <laughs> you can help yourself to anything you like. I was trying to summon the, the same feeling of women. <laughs> women. <laughs> da. Men. Nah, it doesn't work as well. Da. <laughs> oh, so Cassie does know about that. There's something else more than just that. It's a cash register. There's not much change inside. It's some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine underneath. It's a flower. Really? Are you sure there's no face on it? No, there's not. Okay. You can't go Oh, you can. Funny how he just has like seven specific flowers here. None of them are red, though. It's an orange flower protected in a container. It's a green flower protected in a container. It's a yellow flower protected in a container. It's a cyan flower protected in a container. 
It's a purple flower. Fixed in container. What? It's a purple. F what? What? It's a blue flower. Protect it in a container. What about you? It's a golden flower. Protect it in a container. You use this one for tea. It's an air mattress. It's certainly not king sized. Chris, do you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress, and I could, uh, use the bags of soil. Perhaps not. Dad has resided to a very sad fate. It's a door. It's locked. There's some dirty fur stuck in the train. It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. Open fridge. All this inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. And for some reason, also a lone egg. You decide to pass. So if you play this game multiple times, that can change. You can instead come back and there'll be two eggs. Yeah, it's weird. I, to be fully honest, I don't know much about milk. Where are we getting a big scent of everything I know? <laughs> it's a small TV. On top are some superhero comics. Nice. It's a note. It says, no rent received. Again, stop giving away flowers. Start selling them. You have one month. Who the fuck would CB? Hmm. Just like thinking of literally everyone. Who the fuck would C be? C. I would think C would be Kara. Thank you. But. I know. The mayor? Sure, but who the fuck is the mayor? I'm sitting too flat. I don't have my gamer lean. Here we go. Don't worry, I'm already done. Mm. Fine. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. A photo of you? of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer-looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. Hey, Dad. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. Let's talk on the first floor, Dad. Hey, there you are. Say, Chris, I was thinking, perhaps when Azriel comes home, you would all go to the diner, just like old times. My treat. Does that sound yummy? Then we could all have a nice drive around town. I might even need to clean up my old truck, but... Then we could all have a nice... Oh. I swear he had much more dialogue than this. Oh, there we go. Oh, Chris, before you go... I swear to God, if you give me flowers to give to Mom. Here, for your mother. Our secret. Fine. Bless you. Have a great day, Chris. Uh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Oh, wait a minute. This is a bit of a different twist. Yeah, but this is Blucky. This is the shape of Blucky's house. Wait, no, they faced away from each other, didn't they? This is not. This is Metatone's house, but it's Napster looks color. Uh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? Tell me right now they're not home. Oh, you just want to talk to me? My apologies, beautiful. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a nobody. Stay thirsty, my friend. I'm telling you, they're not home right now. Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, because I keep fucking forgetting to drink. Chrissy, like long time no see. What's up? Didn't you did you want to talk about something? Go away. Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. 
keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's like a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family is like so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee and I swear it was half cat fur. Like, get a hairnet girl for like your whole body. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just get us some burgers. Then like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good, I ate like six. Then I like, suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? Go away. Aw, that's no way to talk to your almost sister-in-law. Nah, I'm joking, but like, Remember that time I played Truth or Dare with Azzy? I like made him give me his first kiss. Then your mom found out he kissed someone and like I think she basically dialed 911. I swear your family went to church like every single day that week. Aw, oh, Chrissy, you don't you just wanna say hi? That's adorable. Now get out of here. There's some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. He's missing an arm! It's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. Sounds about right. Hey, neighbor. Neighbor, neighbor. What's your brother? What's your brother Doug gonna come by? When's your brother Doug gonna come by? My girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> what the fuck are you on about? Look, Chrissy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Katty a hug. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything though? Your choice. Neighbors. Like, that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy, she's like, my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see Cat Petters, too, and the only other person in the theater was her. <gasps> then I went to QC's and ordered a, cap a cappuccino, and she, like, was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. A uh, copygator? Copysaurus? Ugh, I don't know. Copodile. I don't know. She sucks. Oh my god, Azrael, like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember when me and him went on to the dance? That was, like, the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him and danced inappropriately in front of your mom. I got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. <laughs> that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Oh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me my playing was, is an anti-blessing from the planet hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my freckled-up little sis. A freckled-up little sis. Various cat-themed junk is piled up inside the house. It seems to be a bit of a cat to cat to see. Okay. I've come to realize now, besides the fact that the top of her house looks like, like as if it has scales, she likes cats a lot more than she wants to put out because the scratching. I thought it was gonna be there are alligator people in there. And then I realized, no, all the cats have yellow eyes. That's weird and concerning. Oh, Chris, if you wanna come in, our cat flap is just like always open to you. I refuse to believe all of you. Hey. Oh, well. Oh, hi, Chris. She eats cats in her tail. She said that she might... She said they were tasty and left it at that. That was kind of it. <laughs> but at the exact same time, you have to remember that... Hey! Well, one of them also said that they saw a... Um, said they saw a cat and said it was so cute, but then realized it was a dog. Oh, hi, Chris. Did you uh, need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so, um... I just got a few things ready for you in case. Oh, wait. Sorry, I can't hear right now. I forgot my house key again, then, um... Sorry, Chris. I'll help you later, if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Hmm? Hmm. Um, Chris? Did you, uh, want to talk about something? Talk about... <laughs> Let's talk about your love life. Susie, that's right. You were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was uh, worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Hmm. Um, Chris, can I ask something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of uh, 
curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't want to wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. But Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? Honestly, she's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? Like, like, really? Honestly, truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, 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 wait. It's not a trick, is it, Chris? Like, when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? Really? You're, you're serious? You're totally serious? Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. <laughs> Calm down, Saya. <laughs> I have this, this awful fucking thought of like Saya like really wanting to approach Azzy and talk to him and is like super fucking embarrassed about it. <laughs> that. That. And so she just like goes to go. What the fuck would she go to? Insert a list of people here. Probably sorrow because sorrow is buddy buddy with Azzy. Or so she thinks. There. Okay. He suplexed you once, so therefore you two are friends, right? He suplexed you, don't you? He seemed to like you when he did it, so are you. <laughs> I don't know who the hell walked up for that one. It's just Drake, Drake or Dane walking up beside him. It's dark. Okay. So he's like. Immediately, as he comes slithering up behind him, and like Letterman jacket shuts up immediately. <laughs> Shuts up, slightly hides more behind here. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I'm a tree. Not being subtle at all. Yeah, I mean, Trying to, failing. Let's talk about anything. Chris, are you good? Normally, you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? Why don't you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he's appreciated it, but, um... Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. God, it smells extremely like acetone. That's probably his hand. Don't fucking frown at me. What the hell is on your hand? <laughs> We gotta brush your teeth. What? Yeah. I'm not gonna bring up the bowl. It's fine. I'll clean it later. Oh. Okay. Cool. What about the pot? Oh. Oh. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Huh? I don't ask for my mom for the key? I, I mean, I, uh, you know... She doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over the caddies. <laughs> Tell Azza said hi, Chris. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> North is, yeah, okay. That's home. Before we get home... I think I got all corners of the city. Yeah, this is Icy's. Over oh, here is Sans. Toby. Yeah. Guys, yeah, like down, down, down. I didn't fucking forget, woman. Shut up. It's locked. So. This area is supposed to be a possible gastro location. You're not in there. I know. Oh, okay. 
this area is supposed to be a possible gastro location. That's why the guy said one of the challenges was for me to sit here for 10 to 30 minutes, record the audio, and then play it backwards at a certain amount of speed. Because the audio is playing here backwards, it's supposed to be the same sound. Yeah. This audio that plays here is supposed to be the same, I think, sound as the one audio file that's in Undertale that you can get. Because, you know, there's like, I think there's... Turn it down! They're on the phone. That one. But we can hear you! Doesn't matter, we can still hear you. That's why she said shut the door. I know. I know. Yeah. The sound here is, um... It's gaster. I'm not going to do it. That's a lot. I very specifically said I'm probably not going to do that. But you have to sit here literally for like 10 to 30 minutes to be able to get enough audio to turn it backwards and play it. Yes. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to do that. If you want it, you can look it up your fucking self. That's where they came through from the underground. Mm -mm. But it would also make sense that of that as well. It's your mom's van. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? See, after everyone we found, you know who we didn't find? Susie. You know why? We don't know where she stays. We know where literally everyone else stays, but we don't know where the hell Susie is. You can... Yep, because of the police tape. Back again? My, you're active today, are you not? Perhaps you can use some of that... Use some of the energy to wake up on time? Your brother cannot carry you to school anymore, you know? The music that's playing now is the home thing. Toriel's thing, the doom, 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 doom. You know what I mean. It's TV, doesn't it? That makes me so happy because I realize it's not exactly the same song. It's my niece, Chris, what is it, honey? Uh. No, it's coming from the bathroom. They're in the bathroom. No, but that's strong, strong, strong. Oh, yes. Remember that video game you and Azra used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? You ready for that? Yeah. By the way, this is why everyone thought that um, Chris or Kara would be in Smash. Oh, yeah. Chris has a lot of Kara in them. You act like Frisk is throwing everyone off. I, and you acting like Frisk is throwing everyone off. Yes, exactly. And we'll get to that momentarily. When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that, the Yoshi. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all those eggs with spots as decorations. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. <laughs> green eggs and spam. Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday, soon, you'll be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? That's when your horns are going to grow in. So he bought that headband with little red horns on it. Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? I've still got it, mother. I embedded it in my skull, mother. I've never lost it, mother. There's a book here. It's a book of hymns. Uh, here. Oh, Chris, flowers for your mother? 
How sweet. These are from him, are they not? They're, um, well, no, don't worry. Chris, I will um find some place for them. Pie. Chris, since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, does it not? But fortunately, sharing a warm, freshly made pie is a perfect cure for such a condition. As long as I get to eat some, of course. Chris, perhaps you should go to bed early tonight. You do not look quite yourself. Cassie made a pretty good point. But it's funny how much, like, car Chris actually is. But the way that we're bringing the frisk into Kara, or into, into Chris, is kind of making everyone weirded out. Like, you're much more talkative than usual. You're, you came here of your own accord? Why are you talking to everyone right now? You came to do this? That's weird. Even Toriel just said, you don't seem like yourself. You should go to bed early. The trash can, somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral, floral scent. And now you know why it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. Because she throws away all the fucking flowers. Mm. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. Well, that goes against that question. Because your answer is that whichever one you pick, she'll add the other one regardless. But it'll become the adjective adjective in the order that you pick it. So butterscotch cinnamon or cinnamon butterscotch. But it'll always be called bscotch. There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your, you, your mother, and your brother. Going to the bathroom. Chris, is everything all right in there? I have my fish in the toilet. Chris, what are you doing? You did not put a bath bomb in the toilet again, <laughs> did you? I did this last time, but I want to do it again because it's funny. Chris, if anything bad happens, you're paying for the plumbing bill. I think after that she's done. Yeah, she's done. Mirror! It's only you. The door's locked. Still crayons, there's no green. Still a cactus, not much to say. Many books, Tales of Snails, storybook. Snails don't have tails. Snails help your garden. History of... The History of Her Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boone. Boom. It's funny though, because Chris does act on his own at some point. Yeah. On their own. Chris does act on their own at some point. Yep. Like when he's protected, when they protect him. Susie. So, ready to end this game? Are you ready to end this game? It's 9.30. You decide to go to bed. I timed this out pretty well. You need to start treating your siblings more with less being of a dick. I have no control over this.
I can also slightly move in the cage. There's a very specific remix of this, a medley of these songs done by, I think it's note block on YouTube. I like it a lot because they, um, they take all the songs or at least like the core songs of the game and kind of like give them really, really good story beats or really, really good beats and like things to just listen to. And at the very end, they just do like a nice, like group of people singing out this bit. I can't remember what it's called an orchestra. No, a choir. A choir of people singing out this the same bit here, and I'm I love it. It's very short, subtle, but it's really really good. And just to make sure that you knew the exact same rhythm that the song is going to, they then played the song that goes to it. That's Hopes and Dreams from Undertale. From Undertale, it's the exact same uh beat. So, I'm going to have to take a hick and keep playing chapter one. Because I didn't even know this had a sound effect to it. Yeah. Now, if I'm going to, I'll hit chapter select. And then pick that. So, I know Kahuna's live, yeah? Who else is live right now? Kahuna's live, Crystal's live. Crystal's fucking playing Pokemon Fire Red, it looks like. Tomo's doing just chatting. Kahuna's playing Sekiro again. Um, I see Nico, but I don't see a, oh, another doll. I was playing Cult of the Lamb. <gasps> Let's go read Moist Critical. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay. No, but seriously. Let's go and raid. Uh, Alec Kahuna. I raided him in the last night. Yeah. Good for you. Chess says she's gonna sleep so she can get on a normal sleep schedule. Good luck with that. Well, I was gonna play it out. I was gonna do suddenly fucking just quit the game like a loser. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go right out. 
I mean, um, Kahuna. Kahuna? Yeah. Where are your joy pod controllers? In there on the stand. Where are the other ones? Somewhere. Love you too. Raid will be now going on to Kahuna. Well, hello, they're beautiful. What? Oh, hi, I didn't realize I was on camera. You're not on camera. It's my phone. N no. No. I locked my phone. Did that on accident. It's just a picture of you, hun. See? Look. See, look at that. See, see, see. Look, look, look at how cute she is. God damn it. Look, look, look at her. That's pretty gay. Alright, we're sending everyone over to Kahuna. Everyone have a good night. Everyone stay happy, stay healthy, stay hydrated. Um, have a good night. Have a good night. Take care of yourself. Have a good weekend. I will see everyone. Uh, if she's up to still streaming on for herself on Saturday, maybe Saturday, and for sure for me Sunday, cause goddamn Smash Bros, I gotta get some goddamn D and D ideas out of my head and into my head. Night, everyone. Good night, everyone.